Thanks for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe so you get notified when we drop more content. In this screencast, we're going to learn how to add quota data for collaborative forecasts using Data Loader. Data Loader provides a simple point-and-click method for adding, inserting, and editing quota data in Salesforce. This is one of the methods of inserting quota data instead of using the API and writing code. Verify that the user or system admin you are using has the permissions. View Setup and Configuration. View all forecasts and manage quotas. Also, it's best to use Data Loader version 30 or higher. First, let's get the user IDs. Open Data Loader, click on Export, Enter in Credentials. Select the user object from the list. Choose a file name and destination for the exported data. And click Next. Select the ID and name fields. Click Finish and Yes. The file should be saved somewhere where you can access it later. Next, let's get IDs of the forecast type. Open Data Loader, click on Export, enter in Credentials, be sure to click Show All Salesforce Objects. Select the Forecasting Type object from the list. Choose a file name and destination for the exported data. And click Next. Select the ID and Developer Name fields. Click Finish and then Yes. Open the file to view the forecast types. Note the developer name and ID values for each active forecast type. Not all companies use all forecast types that appear in the results. Review this list if you're not sure which forecast type a specific developer name refers to. In this screencast, I'm using Opportunity Revenue and Opportunity Quantity Types. Review the h and article for the various forecast type objects. You'll find a link to it in the short description of this video. Next, prepare your quota spreadsheet to insert. Open a new CSV and add the following column names. Forecast name, which is the name of the forecast type, such as Opportunity Revenue or Opportunity Quantity. This column is not required, but including them makes it easy to understand the contents of your CSV file. Forecasting type. This is the corresponding ID for opportunity revenue and opportunity quantity. Obtain the IDs from the data exported from the data loader earlier. Quota owner ID. The user assigned to this quota, which should be enabled for forecasts. Obtain the IDs from the data exported from the data loader earlier. You'll find a link to a video on how to use VLOOKUP to match these in the short description of this video. Quota amount is the dollar amount. Quota quantity is the quantity. Currency ISO code. As a best practice, load quota data in the quota owner's personal currency. Start date, which should be in date time format. Otherwise, the import will fail. Another video on how to format date time fields is also in the short description. Make sure there is a separate row for amount and quantity. It's not possible to specify both in one row. For this example, I did not put in the quantity in the opportunity revenue row since it's only the amount that's needed. Save the CSV. Open Data Loader, click Insert, Enter in Credentials, and click on Show All Salesforce Objects. Select the Forecasting Quota object from the list. Click Browse, and then choose the CSV file you just created. Click Next. Click OK in the Data Selection dialog box. Click Auto Match to match fields to the columns. If any don't match up, then drag the fields down to the column mapping. You can ignore the Forecast Name field. 
Click OK once done and click Next. Select a place where to save the success and error files which can be easily accessed. Click Finish and Yes to proceed. A dialog box will appear with the number of successes and errors. If there's an error, then review the error export file and review the error column. Fix any mistakes and try the upload again. If you still cannot import, then contact customer support for additional assistance. Now, let's check if the quotas appear in the Forecasts tab in the org. We'll log in, click on the Forecast tab, and notice the dollar amount is showing. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.